hello friends in this lecture i would like to explain another topic based on the retaining wall that is 2d retaining wall by using stad pro connect software so first of all open the stad pro stad pro connect so software and then here give your file name so choose your default location wherever you want to store the file and then choose type will be analytical units will be metric and then click the create a new model See here, you will get a default user interface like this. See here, this is the default user interface. And then in the geometry, in the grid, select beam grid option. So here at the zero node, you will keep one node. Based on this node only, we will create the plates. Okay. First, the retaining wall is of size of some 10 meters and height of some 3 to 4 meters I am going to design. Okay, first I will keep the node. Based on that, we will go for another four nodes. So here, to come out of this command, please click Escape and then switch off this grid. Here, in the snap node or beam, you can select unhighlight this one. Automatically, it will be closed. And then in the select, go to nodes cursor and then select this node. So to copy the nodes, this node in the x direction, for that one, I am pressing Control C and then again Control V. Then in the x direction, I want some 10 to 15 meters. So I'm taking some 10 meters span. Click add. And again in the y direction. So please this one, keep this one in front view. See here both are in x direction only. And, the, and again select these two nodes. And again control C for copying, control V for paste. And again in the y direction around some 3 to 3.5 meters, you will select. I will take some 5 meters retaining wall. Click OK. So see here. Length of some 10 meters, height of some 5 meters wall will be selected. Then, so next option is in the geometry, select generate mesh option and then create mesh. So I am starting from this node, first node, second node, third node, fourth node. So again, you have to come for the first node where it started for the generate mesh option. Okay, it will be selected and again there will be another dialog box which is polygonal meshing and quadrilateral meshing. Quadrilateral meshing means you will get a four noded connected plates. So for that I am going for quadrilateral meshing. Polygonal means five noded connected plates. Okay. So for that select quadrilateral meshing. Click OK. So again here it will be asking division. So span length will be higher. Therefore I am going for number of divisions more for retaining wall. Click here. Apply. So see here. Span meters of 10 by 5 meters will be or 10 meters by 5 meters of retaining walls will be created. Then our first step is first select the supports here and then choose create supports. So here I am going by default fixed for all supports. So by default select all fixed support and then click add. Then again select the support and again select the nodes. So here I will fix the entire structure. Side, sidewise and bottom wise. So select these supports. If you want, you can keep control and then select all the bottom supports or else individually you have to select, select each and every support. So I will select only first right side support and then click as into the selected node. And again, this right side, left side support, click as into the selected node. And again, this bottom support, click as into the selected node. Okay, so your supports will be assigned to the structure. Then your next step is we have to assign the thickness of the plates. For that, go to property and again select the thickness of the plates. So here, how much plate, uh, size you want? Based on that, you can give. For example, you have one feet or two feet. I will go for two feet around some 600 mm. So for that, I will select in, in terms of meter 0 0.6 for slab. Then click add here and then click close. So here you have to assign these plates material to the entire structure. For that select this plate and again in the select, select this plate cursor, select the entire structure and then select this one and then select the entire plate and then assign to the selected plate. See here whether your property will be selected or not. For that you can go to view and again in the 3D rendering view you will check whether your plates will be assigned to the property or not. Okay. Next step is 
to give the loading to the structure for that go to loading and again load case details click add so first one is dead load so write down indication title as dl which is considered as dead load click add close for that again you have to give dead load click add so dead load is always self rate of the structure for that give self rate factor 1 as 1 click add close self rate and again assign to view assign to view dead structure then again in the load case details click add so your next step is we have to give some water pressure it means it is any hydrostatic pressure check whether if there will be any hydrostatic pressure means you can directly select that one otherwise select none so here in the title you can give that name whatever the force you want then click add close check again go to hydrostatic pressure click add here and again here there will be various loads in that we are only designed plate so we have to apply hydrostatic pressure to plate for that you can select plate loads and again in the plate loads select hydrostatic pressure if you see here there will be another box open like this so here there will be no property selected for that one see here the option is currently disabled because no plates are selected first for that select plates so here you have to select all the plates and then click done automatically it will be highlighted so you can give pressure either in global x direction and z direction interporting along the global axis and local z direction so you have to change this one to global z direction direction of pressure interpreting along x axis or else you can change this one to global z direction however the force you want you can change that one and again w1 w2 see here w1 will be the bottom plate which is giving here w1 will be bottom so i want bottom side some higher pressure which is around some 6 kilonewton per meter square so on the bottom one i will give somewhat less only like some 4 to 3 so directly i will give the indications of 4 and 6 not minus minus due to downward here so and then select add here click close so see here if you keep like this any one of the option automatically your pressure will be applied here hydrostatic pressure will be applied for that you can go to view and again select the 3d view you will see here again in the loading view loading diagram see here this blue color highlighted one and again if you want you can go for hydrostatic pressure and again select any another plate so wherever you want to select the plate so this is how the plates will be created if you want you can change this one by using edit option which if you want global z direction you can change this that one to global z direction see how it will be applied entire plates will be applied through the global z direction track side so like this way it will be assigned to the uh, we have to assign hydrostatic pressure to the plates after that click analysis and then define commands and then if you want you can take print all click add close and then go to analysis and then click save the structure if you see any errors will be there so there will be zero errors and zero warnings so then close this one then go for the design so design is very simple only plates are created for that go to design option and again i, wa I want to go to the model of concrete for that there will be concrete retaining wall and then select indian standard 466000 and then we have to select the parameters for that select fc which is characteristic compressive strength of the concrete and again main reinforcement and again shear reinforcement also so the slabs means we have to give both okay shear reinforcement means actually there will be no need so marks will be coming both ways so then i will select click ok here and then we have to define the parameters which I, we want so for that we have to give some m25 grade concrete that is 25000 in kilonewton per meter square click add and again fi main reinforcement will be around some 500 yield i am giving 500 into again 1000 in meters and again click add close and again we have to define the commands here we have to select only slab because we are selected only plates there click add and then take off will be add so the design will be simple here simple design i am doing and again we can assign fc assign to view which is characteristic compressive of the concrete to the entire structure and again fi main which is characteristic compressive uh, yield strength of the concrete and again design element also uh, for the entire structure 
okay so your entire things will be assigned in the design also then go to analysis define the commands click all add close and again select the run analysis save the structure here again any any errors are there so again there will be zero errors and zero warnings first if you want you can check output file so they each and everything will be mentioned in the output file automatically based on our design if you want you can see the concrete design how the plates will be designed here okay so this is the top reinforcement this is the bottom reinforcement based on the area of the steel you have to provide the area of the steel individually and again close this one go to the post processing mode okay check whether any deflections are there so if you want you can check deflections in the hydrostatic pressure so we can also see the displacements or there or else we can see the for plates we have to generally check the plate stress contour animation for that go to animation select plate stress contour and again here in the animation sorry in the plate stress contour select the stress type will be maximum absolute and again in the animation select the stress here and then click ok so automatically the animations of the plate stress contour will be applied visible here this is how plates will be created this is how the deflections and stress we have to check on the plates again if you want you can select the reactions in the processing mode sorry in the post processing mode you can select the reactions also each and everything you will get because it is clumsy you can check individual plates either you will get in this dialog box also thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please like this video share it to your friends and subscribe our channel thank you so much